some video. I'm out spraying the uh, herbicide. I did a modification on my spray rig, and I just want to do this video to kind of capture the mod. So I'm going to move around to the back and see that move out there and bounce the food around. But so the mod is, is that shock, that hot rod. The way that shock is it's like a car in the field. It actually absorbs all the bounces around and it actually just stops the bounce and then I'm back to the top. And it cuts about 90% of my brake now. This is kind of what it looks like in there. It looks like it's in there. I gotta stop right here. Hold on. Right here I'm gonna pick up where I left off so you can't, can't see my screen on my GPS which tracks what I'm doing. Uh, very good, but anyway, that's kind of how it works and how I keep up and not over spray and that kind of thing. Uh, I ran some bad terrain, so I had to stop my previous video and kind of go around that bad area and then pick back up. Uh, I'm just about done with this field. This field is probably the way around uh, 60 acres. And it's doing a good job of my spray rig. It's doing a magnificent job of hanging in there. That's my control box that I designed and built myself, which controls my spray rig and all the booms and everything on the back side. That's the power distribution box that I designed and built myself, which uh, is working in a magnificent job of distributing power to different areas of the tractor, not under the tractor, but my implements. And so I'm coming up in another area, you can see it right here, where the terrain is really crazy. So I have to really watch it because I'm running a tank full of water and, uh, it, and uh, so I have to make sure that it don't tilt the booms too far over and cause them to bounce around and hit the ground but from tilting. But there you, you see that right there. I mean, that's just how much I got left on this field. You see the green is where I have a sprayed and the uh, yellow is where I sprayed. And it's, it's moving along as I move along this GPS and it's tracking within four inches of where I left off or from, you know, when I came through before. So I, I stay on top of it and then make sure that I get the field done and good coverage. That's one of the key things. Uh, so I'm going to go back around and sway back around to the back and maybe you can see those booms and, and stuff. Everything's going on the back side there. Got a 500 gallon tank on there that's, that's uh, holding the chemical. And I got a 500 gallon tank. If you can see the truck way over there, the water tank is behind the truck. And when, it, when I use up all of the water chemical out of this, I, I then I uh, go ahead and uh, fill, refill the tank, put new chem more chemical in, and keep it moving. And uh, one tank, 500 gallon tank, will cover 38 acres of uh, spraying. So and I got it all, the mass, use the mass to figure it all out so I know exactly what I'm supposed to do, how much to put in the tank and all that. So it works out pretty well. But these are main, just want to show a little bit about that and talk about that a little bit. And I, I can look at my mirrors and kind of watch my, my uh, stuff that's going on on the back side and the booms and everything. So it's working out pretty, pretty good. Since I did that mod on the, on the booms, I did both, both sides the same thing and put a shock, uh, it's a shock absorber from a vehicle. And, uh, but it works well. It does a good job of absorbing the, the, uh, the, the uh, up down pressure on the booms out there when they're bouncing around from being in here. And I've been spraying this thing for about, what, three years, three, four years, and never thought about that. So just recently, figured it out, worked it out, it's a redesign, and it's working great. Very happy camper today on spraying. All right, thanks for watching.